Many people dream of creating a digital product that makes them money even while they sleep. And so they spend a ton of time creating the product, maybe it's an online course or an ebook, only to find out and when they launch it, it flops. So they assume there's something wrong with the product. Now, most of the times the product is just fine, but the marketing sucks and that's why they don't make sales. And maybe you think that marketing your online product is some sort of mystery, some sort of very complex thing. Well, it's not. Selling your online product is easy if you know how to do it. In this video, I will teach you the three-step process to capture your audience attention and to explain what you sell in such a clear way that you start selling your digital product like hotcakes and you make your online business grow. I call it the magnet and you will see why. If you're excited to learn this, please give this video a like. Raise your hand if you have ever created a website to sell your product. So let's say you have an online course and so you create a website to sell it. And after putting a lot of work in that website and filling it all with all the right information, days and weeks go by and sales don't happen. And so you think, well, I'll just make a better website. This one is pretty crappy. I need better design. So you hire a designer or even a marketing agency and they create this new version of the website with a beautiful logo and beautiful colors. And maybe you even learn some cool words like brand book and uh, brand color palette and now you're feeling all fancy and your website looks perfect and you feel proud and so you send it over to all of your friends but after a few weeks you realize sales did not happen either and so you start thinking well maybe my product is a problem or the market is a problem or the price is a problem and you start spiraling down till you start doubting yourself and your own ability to make money online and you think Maybe I am the problem. Maybe this is not for me. I mean, who am I trying to fool? I'm no online business guru. You don't have to be a business guru. You just need to follow a very simple formula that explains what you do, why it matters, and why should people buy from you. And that is exactly what I'm going to teach you next. By the way, if you're at the point where you dream about making money online, but you have no idea where to start, I created an entire free class over one hour long that takes you by the hand in going from what can I sell to monetize every month from skills you already have? So check it in the description below. So what makes people want to buy from you? So here's a real story of two people with the same product in the same location at the same price. One is overlooked, the other is overbooked. As I share the story with you, I want you to identify what makes one of these guys sell a ton and the other guy sell to none? And it rhymes. <laughs> so just a few months ago, I moved to a new place. And as soon as I arrived, a guy approached me. And as I was getting out of my car, very politely introduced himself and told me I wash cars at my clients' homes for their convenience. So whenever you need me, here's my card. Give me a call and we'll arrange a time. Cool, I said. I grabbed the card and forgot about it. That same afternoon, I went to pick up my kids from school and as I was approaching my car, this other guy comes up, introduces himself and says, have you noticed how dirty the car becomes once you have children? And seeing you're a mother of two, I imagine you have very little time to spare and I bet the last thing you want to do when you have some free time is go to wash your car. I can wash your car at your home so that every time you get in your car, it looks and smells nice and you get your free time to spend with your family. Who do you think I bought the service from? The second guy. Why? Because he nailed the magnet technique, which I will now explain to you so you can use it to attract your clients to you like this second guy. And right after I teach you this powerful three-step process, I will tell you the five things you need to add to your website to dramatically increase your sales. So watch till the end because this alone can bring a lot of cash into your business. This is based on the teachings I learned from Donald Miller in his book. He outlines the importance of being able to explain what you do in a powerful way. Okay, so let's dive into the magnet, which is a game changer to attract clients to you and to maximize your sales. And this is how you do that. Step one, problem. Identify your client's main problem. The first thing your client wants to know is, will you solve a problem I have? If the answer is yes, they will get their wallet out. If the answer is unclear, they will probably walk away. Now, the problem they have is the hook to your product. Now, the thing is that most people don't even know which is the main problem that their clients have. So they just talk about their offer. And when you ask them things like, what do you do for a living? They answer, I teach English as a foreign language. And that is how you make zero sales. Now, if you wanted to answer the same thing, but using the magnet, when someone asks you what do you do for a living or what is your course about, you would answer by addressing the problem first. And it would sound something like this. 
You know how many people wish they could learn how to speak English, but they feel it's going to be a long and boring process till they get fluent? Well, I've created a method that teaches English in a fast and fun way so that after six months, people are so fluent, they don't even need to take lessons with me anymore, but they still come because they have so much fun. If you have not identified what you're helping your customer achieve, if you have not identified the problem that your product solves for your customer, they will stop paying attention to you. Remember the two guys washing cars? The first guy introduced himself and right away told me, his service, I wash cars. The second guy opened up by nailing two real problems I have. Have you noticed how when you have children, your car is always a mess? And I immediately nodded when he said that, you know, yeah, my car is always a mess. My, my kids uh, eat in the car, they leave their toys everywhere. And then he said, and I imagine you're very busy. And the last thing you want to do when you have free time is go to a car wash. And I nodded again. So in a matter of seconds, he put into words the two real problems I have. My car is always a mess and I never have time to wash it. So I immediately felt he was talking to me. You have to be clear and concise with the problem you solve. Because another thing I see with a lot of people creating online courses is that they want to solve a bunch of problems for a bunch of people and that just creates a very confusing message. So you want people to think of you when they have a specific problem or a specific goal they want to achieve. Step two, plan. Explain how you solve the problem. So here you explain your method, your system, your plan. So instead of going into all the technicalities and aspects of your product or service, you focus on how you solve the problem. Avoid being too abstract like, we help you improve. But also avoid overcomplicating the explanation because when you confuse a client, you most likely lose him or her. So let's say you are a fitness instructor and your course is for busy professionals who struggle finding time to work out. So your opening hook is, most busy people struggle to find time to work out. And your plan is, so my program includes 20 minute high intensity workouts and a personalized nutritional plan that fits into hectic schedules. If you're enjoying this, please subscribe to this channel. Okay, now on to step three of this formula. And right after that, I'll give you the five things that you need to add to your website right now to turn strangers into buyers. So step three is promising future, the happy future. You show them how their life will look like after they solve their problem with your product. So you finish your magnetic phrase, your magnet, with the positive outcome that the customer will experience from using your product or service. So this part should paint a picture of success or relief that comes from solving their problem. Remember this, people do not buy a course to learn. They buy a course to change, to get an outcome, to get a result. So in step three, you're showing them how their life changes. So let me share the magnetic phrase from my own company, Easy Launch Academy. Many people dream of earning money online, but think it's too complicated. That's a problem. So we created the easiest way to help people package their current skills or hobbies into an online course. That's the plan that they built once and they earn from forever. That's a happy future. Here's a few magnetic phrases from my students at Easy Launch Academy. I'm sharing them so you get inspired to create your own. Many women struggle with menopause weight gain, so I created an easy to follow method that combines fitness and nutrition and can be done in 30 minutes a day so that they can look and feel great again. Aspiring musicians often find music production complex and inaccessible, so I put together a user-friendly course that teaches the essentials of music production, allowing them to create professional quality music from their home studio. Many couples find communication in their relationship challenging, so I offer a relationship coaching program that provides effective communication strategies, helping them build a stronger, more understanding partnership. Lots of professional photographers are burnt out and struggle to build a profitable business, so I created a program that shows them how to double their revenue by working less and enjoying their profession more. Now on to you. Can you describe your product or service in one powerful line using the magnet formula? Remember, problem, plan, positive outcome. Use the comments below this video to write it down and maybe you even get feedback from others and you get a chance to enhance your phrase. Okay, cool. So now we will move on to a key element in your sales formula, which is your website. And there are five things that will make your website sell a lot more. So what makes a website sell? Number one, a 100% clear offer that can be understood within five seconds. So here's a test I want you to try out. Grab your website as it is and have a 10 year old look at it and ask him or her, 
what do I sell? Then go ask your 80 year old neighbor the same question. Look at my website, what do I sell? And finally, ask someone who could be a potential client for you, but who does not know you or what you do and ask them the same. The reason I'm saying you do this is to make sure that you're not falling into the expert's trap. What is this? That oftentimes you, as the creator of the product or the service, you understand things so well that many times the way you describe it comes from a place of deep understanding. And what you don't realize is that your own expertise is making you explain it in a way that is unclear for your audience. Because the person that lands on your website likely knows very little about your business, maybe does not even know you. And here's the data. If within five seconds that person cannot clearly understand what you offer, they will go away. And here's how you make your website a lot more effective and clear. You treat the top part of it as the most expensive piece of land you got in your whole real estate website. And you use that top part only to present your offer there. So let me show you an example of this in my own website. See, you go in and boom, within five seconds, you know exactly what my offer is. Now, many times, this is what I see in websites. Stay inspired, awaken, rise, evolve. Or I see your name huge across all the headline. And I'm sure you're an awesome person, but unless you're a complete celebrity, your name does not mean a thing to people. So your headline needs to answer in five seconds, what do you offer? The second element your website needs is a very clear answer to the burning question that your client has in mind. How will my life change when I consume your product or service? You don't talk about your product here. You don't go into all the technicalities. No, you don't say a thing about your product until you have said, here's what's in this for you, my dear client. So let's say you teach meditation and you ask yourself, why do people take a course on meditation? You know, nobody takes a course on meditation because they want to get better at meditation. It's because they want clarity. They want less stress, they want more focus. So you put that on your headline. The third element for your website is a very clear answer to the question, how do they buy from you? And here you need to be very clear about the call to action. So you need a button in a color that stands out and gives a straightforward call to action. In that button, you do not put learn more. In that button, you do not put uh, let's connect because you don't want to connect. You want them to sign up. So your call to action button needs to say things like enroll, buy, sign up. The fourth element for your website is you need to overcome your customer's objection. So if your customers are scared that what you teach is too difficult or that they have to know about tech or that they won't have time for it, you address that right away. So if you're teaching a course on fitness and you know the most common objection is I don't have time to work out, you put something like in just 20 minutes a day. If you're teaching something that involves technology and you know, you know, people might be scared of the complexity, you will put in your website, even your grandma can do this. Number five thing that needs to be in your website is the answer to the question, why should I trust you? And here, the key is that you write your bio, your presentation in a way that is 100% aligned with what you're offering. So no need to talk about where you were born or what school you went to or any other detail that does not build authority around the thing you're selling. So keep it short, keep it compelling, and above all, related to what you're selling. Quick recap of what we've covered so far. First, create your magnet, a powerful one-line sentence that says what you offer, why the client needs it, and why you are the person they need to learn it from. How? Using my three-step formula. Problem, be very specific about the main problem the client has. Plan, explain the method to solve it. Promising future, describe how their life changes when they do it. And we've also covered how to build a website that sells. How? By answering these five questions. What do you offer? How will my life change? How do I buy from you? What if? Overcome the objections and why should I trust you? Digital products are on fire right now. So if you have an online course, which is my favorite digital asset because you build it once and you sell it forever, you can easily be making 10 k per month from your current knowledge or skills. This is not a matter of whether you have what it takes. It's a matter of making the decision to start. And if you need help in deciding what to sell and how to build your course in an easy way, you can grab my free class in the description below. It will save you a ton of time and it will get you started right away. Many dream of making money online, but think it's too difficult, but it doesn't have to be difficult. I built this channel to give you my insider tricks to make your online business grow beyond your wildest 
dreams. If you have enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments and subscribe to get more value packed videos. Till next week. Lots of professional. This is what I see in websites. And websites. Hmm. Esta es una otra lengua. Here's what's in this for you, dear client. Oh.